Hello, this is Mark from the Me Techie channel. Thanks for joining me on this video. Today we're talking about the WebAround 56 inch green screen. This is a portable green screen that you can take with you or just mount on the back of most any chair. It doesn't fit on every chair, I would imagine, but it fits on most um, business chairs, office chairs. I'm here in the US and I've uh, been using this green screen for literally hundreds of videos for my main YouTube channel, which is My Keys to Music. I teach people how to um, program their Nord synthesizers, handmade in Sweden. Those are Nord synthesizers used by professional musicians all over the world. I have a professional training course, several courses now. So I've literally done hundreds of videos with this green screen. I'm showing you the green screen on purpose because it's a green screen video. But uh, this thing is amazing. And uh, this is actually my second one. I actually wore the first one out. It actually tore on the side here because it scrapes the side of my desk. So it's all right, so I try not to do that anymore, but I actually wore it out. But it still works. All I needed to do was put a little piece of tape on the side of it. But uh, like I said, I use this literally four or five times a week making that many videos. Well, I probably make more than that a week. Let's just say five or six videos a week with the green screen. And what you can do with the green screen is you can chroma it out, which means that the background goes away, or you can put in whatever background you want. So the green screen goes away and the background comes in. So it's really flexible and it's great because you can have your floating head around whatever you're trying to talk about. And you've seen that on YouTube, I'm sure. It's really uh, effective for training videos because you can look at the audience straight in the eye. They can see that human interaction and your personality comes out. And um, it's great. And then you can hide if you want or you know show up on against any background. It's, it's really handy. So uh, I'm gonna take a quick aside here and we'll take a look at the proper way to mount this green screen on a chair. I'll talk to you a little bit about the support that goes in the back. And after that, I'll say a little, a few words about this particular channel and what you can expect going forward. And we'll take it from there. <clears throat> now, this is the proper setup and orientation for the green screen, for the web around green screen. Now, you'll notice, or you may not notice, but I'll show you here in a second. Check this out. I'm using this, uh, what ends up being a headphone case. And this is just a means to an end. Uh, you could use a box. In fact, I think the WebAround came with a box, at least mine did. So this is nothing more than um, a way to get this screen separated from the chair. Now, why in the world would you do this? This makes no sense at all. But I'll show you the phenomena that happens when you do that. If you'll notice the, uh, the screen here, let me back off just a little bit. You'll notice that it leans backwards on the chair. And by puffing out the bottom, it actually makes the top come in like this. See? It actually curves it in. And that's good because then you, uh, then more of the screen is hiding your background. In, in other words, by putting something behind the chair to make this flop forward, and this is not a good example, but once you do that, um, it, the green screen covers your situation a little better. So this is it. This is how it mounts to the chair. At least that's how I use it, and that's how the proper instructions. If you look at my other video on this, you'll see that I actually put it on backwards. Okay, so that's the green screen mounting capability here for the web around. I couldn't be happier with it. I've probably done well, well over 150 to 200 videos with this screen so far, and a lot more on the way. Well, I hope you enjoyed that little brief tutorial on green screens and mounting them. Um, there's an opportunity for me to make a lot more training videos on this sort of technology, how to make training videos, how to edit videos. Um, I'm, if I were to do that, I would focus on uh, the three or four programs that I use religiously and have been for several years, making, like I said, hundreds of videos. And those three programs are ScreenFlow for the Macintosh. I also use Keynote, which is built in on every Macintosh now. That's the actual Keynote application. I use that for a lot of the background slides and animations. And then the third program I use is Snagit 2020, uh, which is from TechSmith. Now, incidentally, TechSmith also makes another great program called Camtasia that runs on Windows or Macintosh. So if you're a Windows person, you can go ahead and focus on Snagit and Camtasia for Windows, and then you could use PowerPoint. So if you're a Windows person, the three amigos would be PowerPoint, Camtasia, Snagit. If you're a Mac person, the three amigos would be uh, Keynote, ScreenFlow for video editing, and Snagit for uh, capturing screen images off the internet, 
uh, adjusting images and just basically uh, image work and all kinds of things you can do. I, I mean, I use Snagit every day. All right, so that's a little bit about me, a little bit about the future. Uh, there's an opportunity here to do a lot of training. Uh, this stuff comes easy to me only because I do it every day so often. And it's not just training in videos. Um, I'm heavy into the tech. Spent a lot of time on AWS, Amazon Web Services, uh, in the Windows world, incidentally. Spent a lot of time with FileMaker on the Mac. Um, own a software company, so get a chance to play with tech all day long. And, and I'm behind the computer essentially from 5 in the morning till about midnight every day, except the weekends uh, when I'm not. So that's a lot of tech, and I've been doing that now since 1991, almost religiously. Um, so that's um, a, there's an opportunity there for me to share all of the what I've learned over these years, be it tips, work habits, technology, how to figure things out, how to troubleshoot, whatever. I can help you with that. So if this is something that might interest you, feel free to subscribe. Probably more important, leave a comment and give me some feedback to say, hey, you're out to lunch. I can watch a thousand other videos and learn 10 times more than what I'm learning from you. Or, hey, Mark, this is something that I am learning from. You're valuable. And, and um, can you focus on this? Can you teach me that? I'd probably be happy to do it. All right. Thanks for watching. And we'll catch you on the next one.